Hey guys, it's Nate, AK, the Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We knew that EA was going to go all out for Premier League team of the season, but I don't think any of us expected them to do what they did yesterday in the store. Guys, Premier League tots prices and basically everything that is in packs right now, Women's Super League and the Mixed League tots as well, are crashing because of two absolutely insane store packs that were dropped yesterday and one of which in particular that is just supplying these cards so much on the market we have to talk about that could that mean more prices dropping today and especially sunday sbc content it is an icon player pick sunday boys and that could be big content and big price movements happening once again so we're going to talk about that in today's video and more if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new now let's go to yesterday's SBC content first because not only were there good packs in the store there were good upgrade SBC packs for us to grind here in the SBC section the 84 7 is our upgrade SBC that returned replacing the 86 times 2 and uh you know I like this one it's back I think it is nice because it's an 83 rated squad but the one thing I don't like about this is that they required only team of the week players it's an 83 squad with a team of the week per usual but i wish they would allow us to put a team of the season in this as well the fact that they're only requiring team of the weeks is making team of the weeks crazily enough even though we were just saying yesterday to be careful with these cards these team of the week cards are now all the way up at about 40,000 coins maybe just a shade under right now 39k instant sell for these 80 rated 85 rated whatever rated of informs they're all 39,000 coins it is crazy that ea did not kind of update that requirement in that sbc like they all are for all the other sbcs right now we also had the 83 times 7 premier league or women's super league specific sbc yesterday dropped and it requires a tots or a team of the week so that 84 7 requiring a team of the week is very i don't know it's just kind of like annoying right because team of the weeks they're still easy to come by a lot of us have 82s and threes and fours and the 185 that we need to do the 83 plus team of the week player pick it is very cheap to do and it is very easy do not buy a team of the week from the market just go buy the fodder to do this player pick because especially with how cheap fodder is Team of the Weeks should not be 40k. You should be doing this SBC for like, what is it, 16,000 coins or something, maybe even less than that. Go do this SBC instead, right? But it has Team of the Weeks up on the market. So if you were somebody who invested in those GGs because they are up, I would have to imagine with this SBC being here, they're probably going to maintain their price as well because there's going to be more SBCs that do come out that require those or a Team of the Season. But really, it's this 84-7 that's driving that Team of the Week demand. And guys, to be honest, this is an SBC that if you can craft it, if you have the coins, even if you have to go build an 83 plus player pick it is worth it all right it is worth it to do these packs every single day you can do three per day and that's part of why the informs are rising up as much as they are is because this sbc is worth it to do this is a great sbc for just crafting and trying to pack team of the seasons from i'm going to open the one that i built from yesterday's content real quick we do not get a team of the season but we get argentinian goalkeeper okay that one that one is not very good wow really martinez is my best card in an 84 7 well guess that doesn't bode well for uh what we're trying to point out in this video but that pack uh usually is pretty good and i'm only quick selling right now because i want to show you some of the other packs in the store here in a little bit but that was the biggest sbc or i guess the two biggest sbcs that they dropped yesterday the two upgrade packs the 84 7 and the 83 times 7 the 83 times 7 is repeatable one time every other day i would still get this done kind of like the 82 11 efigs this is just one of those packs that like with the prem tots and packs you might as well go ahead and do it because why not it's the what if question it's kind of the fomo question as well so make sure you get both of those crafted basically all of those crafted every single day you can but specifically the 84 times 7 because those are good to do so yeah this is definitely craftable both of these um and then yeah we had a big sbc for a player yesterday as well the one that a lot of people were looking forward to it was leaked and it was dropped it is martin odegaard did i go past him i must have went past him odegaard's sbc dropped yesterday guys and uh it's oh yeah he's right here at the very beginning it is a very good sbc very very solid five star skills four star weak foot boost there finesse incisive tiki taka you've probably seen the sbc you know how good he is and the way that i'd like to kind of compare these is how much would this card be if he was released 
on the market. And I have to think that even though Premier League Tots prices have dropped off a lot because of the packs that were dropped in the game yesterday, I think this SBC is still a very fair price, right? Again, 470,000 coins. It's five SBC segments. It's crazy that an SBC that is 470K has an 88, 89, and a 90 rated squad inside of it with how cheap fodder is at the moment. Uh, but I think if this car was on the market, he'd probably be somewhere around four to 500K. So I feel like the SBC is fairly priced. You do get the packs back. The playstyle pluses to me look insanely meta. I'm sure he's just going to be great in game. And even as a Spurs fan, I'm thinking about doing this SBC because I have so much fodder at the moment. It's another middle tier value, just like we had with Alvarez, right? Three to four hundred K for Alvarez, four hundred K for Odegaard. It's a great SBC, meta enough player. If you put the Hunter chemistry style on this card, you have yourself an absolutely mental center attacking mid. I think that's probably the best place to play him in game. You could use him as a box to box as well. Uh, but yeah, this card's phenomenal. So GG's EA for putting that SBC out yesterday as well. And then maybe you missed it, maybe you didn't, but those all and ever so important daily bronze, silver, and gold upgrades are back and they were re-released. Make sure you're doing these if you need gold commons to be rinsing into packs right now for grinding in the menus those were also released yesterday too not to overlook those but it was really the upgrade packs and odegaard yesterday that was really good sbc content for the second day of team of the season now let's go to evolutions as well because we had a new evo that was dropped yesterday called the tots plus protector and this is also i think a really good evolution i know it's a hundred thousand coins which a lot of people are not a fan of right those evos that do cost the coins but i think this one could arguably be worth it once again, especially because it allows you to upgrade players that have maybe been in your club for a really long time. I have not touched this Mahmood card for ages. The Royne flashback, Declan Rice, right? The Richardson from Future Stars. Even like Harry Maguire, player of the month, um, is a card that I can upgrade based off of this Evo. The two play style pluses that you do get are pretty meta. You get Jockey Plus and Pinged Pass Plus. And it doesn't have to be a center back, but really the way that these statistics are set up, minimum 64 defending and then some maximum 89 defending and 88 pace. It is really set up for a defensive midfielder or for a center back, I would imagine. I don't think this Declan Rice, if you put him into this Evo, looks that great. You just kind of have to find the right card for this um you know the oliver skip version that i have here from partially completing another evo this card looks pretty good to me it'd be a great card in the midfield for sure for the spurs to the spurs team and i'll you know just find something that works for you uh and if you don't want to spend 100k if you'd rather spend that on the risk of trying to pack a team of the season card right now then definitely go ahead and, and do that but i think that evo is creating some pretty cool combinations and just some good opportunities maybe is the best way to say it like renato sanchez it looks like he's very popular for this evo i'm sure this card is extinct right now yeah he's extinct at 230,000 coins yesterday he went from 100k 120k up to an extinct price of 230,000 just because he fits that tots protector plus evo uh zakaria there's there's multiple players oh no way the new two ray card okay never mind that's not the actual new one that's just the uh, old one so yeah maybe just check and see who's in your club for this one uh, saliba fits it the winter wild card saliba um of course the tots card is better but it's not that far off like that's pretty crazy when you look at it that the tot saliba is not that much different statistically than this evo version now the one thing i will say is the evo does give you the tots plus chemistry which is kind of nice especially for like me when i was showing you that card that i had um if i were to use that mahmoud card i would definitely want that tots plus chemistry right that extra league chemistry so that's kind of a cool part about it that you do get that oop Makano. all right that might be one of the most cracked cards that oop Makano looks insane 90 pace 90 defending and 91 physical for ice upa that's pretty crazy. So I'm sure there's some other gems out there, especially for some of you guys that maybe have Evo cards in your team that you've created that look absolutely insane after this Evo as well. I'm all for that sort of thing. And I think that's a W Evo that was dropped yesterday. Now that was basically the content except for what is here in the store. And that is what I really want to talk about in today's video, because this is what is impacting the game the most right now guys these promo packs here in the store we expected ea to drop big packs yesterday after we saw them drop the 650,000 coin pack just a day ago on friday um they went ahead and dropped 
two 750,000 coin packs. This is the one that we were looking forward to. We knew that this pack was in the code. The Premier League Tots Duo Guarantee, which guarantees you two Premier League Tots items, also an 84 times 30 Five. We knew it was going to be expensive. It's 5,000 FC points or 750K. And, you know, that started to impact prices. If you take a look at some of the graphs on the game, this pack came out and there were some dips. Um, like Declan Rice right now was starting to rebound after all this craziness. But he went down yesterday running the content. He did bounce back up. But after this bounce, what EA did was they released another store pack. It's also 750,000 coins but it's tradable guys it includes two guaranteed team of the season players from the active squad rated 90 or above also an 81 times 20 with three guaranteed 87 pluses it is this pack right here that is absolutely destroyed prices on the market on this game for the premier league tots all of the tots cards in packs let me just show you something crazy i barely watched the market yesterday it was an absolutely crazy day for me I sold Declan Rice at 1.97 million coins yesterday. I bought this one at 1.6 something. I think I talked about it or 1.7 something on the video yesterday, right? He was 1.9 mil. Literally just minutes ago, I bought a Declan Rice for 1.37. Talk about a crazy difference in price over like a one day, like not even 24 hours almost. This card's gone from 1.9 mil over like around 2 million coins to 1.3. I sold Phil Foden for 3.3 mil. He is now 2.4. Luis Diaz, 1.6. He is 1.1. It is crazy how much these cards have dropped off. And it's because of two things. First of all, they dropped that tradable store pack, right? Which means instantly you're thinking, oh, they dropped a lot of supply, right? Yes, these TOTS cards were supplied a lot more than what they were in the past couple of days on this game because that one pack is tradable but also at the same time as you have more supply you have less demand and you have less people that are going out on the market and needing to buy these cards because a they've either packed it from one of these store packs that was tradable or b uh, they packed it from one of the untradable store packs like that double guaranteed premier league pack it is just all of the pack supply tradable and untradable that is coming in that is really just destroying these card prices and right now it looks like they're starting to get a little bit rare like that Declan Rice that I just pointed out he was under 1.4 million coins and it now looks like he's about to go up um, how much is Declan Rice right now oh my goodness he just had a spike this is exactly like yesterday you find the rare cards they move Declan Rice is now 1.5 million coins after he was just 1.4 i'm looking for the same thing to happen with bukayo saka because he did the same thing yesterday he moved up really well in price if i can find one of these at 1.68 on a bid or something like that i'm probably gonna buy it because i think that's a great price so i'm gonna add that one to my watch list i've been watching a couple of these cards the past little bit uh this saka didn't even sell at 1.7 this kdb was 2.7 million and now what is he 2 million flat 2.1 it's crazy, man. So some of these cards are not going to fully rebound. I would not expect to see Declan Rice back at 1.9 mil just to kind of keep him with our consistent example of a price here. Or even the Saka. I don't expect to see Saka back at 2.3 mil where he was yesterday. These cards got supplied more on the market and more and more people have packed them untradeable. So less people are, are buying them off of the market. That's kind of how that works, right? These prices took a huge check and they're probably going to stay down. I do think some of them will rebound today, though. Again, it's it's going to be difficult, and it's going to be quick flips only if you're trying to trade with some of these cards. Like, look at Cole Palmer, 1.39 million. This pack dropped, and he was 1.6 mil, and now he's 1.39. That is absolutely crazy. But people are going to wake up today and want to use these cards. Also, guys like Di Maria. I think Di Maria was in the 1.5 million coin range. He was all the way down to 1.58, and now he's 1.6, is rising to 1.7. So you're going to have fluctuations in there. They're going to be moving. But if you can time it today into Sunday, I think you'll be able to make some coins. So if you're watching this video right now and card prices still look really low, like maybe this uh, maybe this Bukayo Saka is still under 1.7, kind of have to watch this really close right now because he's probably going to go up here pretty soon. People are waking up. They want to try these cards out. Let me look at Cole Palmer really fast too. If I, if I got a snipe, on Cole Palmer at like 1.35 or something, I would probably buy it. Okay, 1.38, maybe a bid would have to do. But like that's sort of the thing that you can watch out for because yes, this tradable pack, it's still out there. People are going to be opening it um, and not everybody has opened it. So there will be more supply coming in. 
but it, it's just crazy. It is crazy the amount of supply that one pack uh, or, or two packs really in the store can bring into a game in a short amount of time. It's just wild. It's just absolutely freaking wild. So I wanted to kind of point that out in today's video because it was not expected that we were going to get both of those packs yesterday. Sure, it was expected that we maybe got one of them, the 750k double tots guaranteed untradeable. But the fact that we got both the tradable and the untradeable pack is absolutely crazy. Like this Bukayo Saka could very easily be going back to 1.9 mil. I've seen him under 1.7 here. Um, man, I think I'm just going to let this sit here and see if I can get a, an undercut or a bid. I'm not going to be greedy with these cards like this Declan Rice that I just bought for 1.37. And the fact that he's going up right now, I'm probably going to sell him today before the content drop because I do not want to risk it. You can see there's a whole bunch here at 1.5, not a whole bunch, just a few. He could continue to go back up to 1.6, 1.7. I'm going to take my quick flip cash there and just get it out. Same thing with the moments cards, man. Garnacho was uh, 600K and now he's 392 and Kunku was 350 and now he's 205. It is crazy, right? Yesterday, how you had the fluctuations upward in price in the morning and Kunku went from 340 to like 380 and then absolutely crashed. He could probably go back up to like 220 or 230 today, potentially. There's a lot of demand for these cards at the very same time. So as I'm like scared a little bit to trade in the supply because these guys got packed so much yesterday, I'm also at the exact same time thinking like, wow, I sold Phil Foden again for 3.4 million coins yesterday. And right now he's 2.5. Okay, this card is still a card that a lot of people want to use. So why don't I at least watch his price and maybe potentially be able to make a trade with this because there's so much demand so not to keep talking about the market just over and over and over but this is crazy man absolutely crazy and it's gonna kind of have a ripple effect on the rest of the market as well because if these prices on these most hype premier league tots cards that have just been released in the game are dropping what else is gonna drop the rest of the market guys it's gonna have a ripple effect down because People are going to say, oh my goodness, I can now go and use a TOTS card. Like if I have 750K to buy Saliba, where before he was 1.1 million coins, I'm going to go buy that Saliba card and I'm going to sell maybe a player or two in my team that I have because now it takes me way less coins to actually afford that Saliba. Um, and I think that's just going to be something that's going to be a ripple effect down on the rest of the market. And you're going to see players drop i still have a doku right that's the only card besides the declan rice that i own right now and i'm just i'm gonna sell this card here i'm gonna probably take a tax loss on doku hopefully i can sell them for like 2.4 um but i just see over the rest of the, the the today maybe even tomorrow prices on the market probably dipping um wow look at asm 464k he is definitely crashing i know that manchester united did not win yesterday so bruno fernandez is down bad that's another thing with the live cards that i'm a little bit worried about and i don't love um but even for like the rest of the market like golazo's you know park jisung that is down for him Drogba's down a little bit. I could just continue to see the rest of the market take hits in price because these new TOTS cards are just cheap. And I mean, they're still very exciting cards that so many people want to get their hands on. So I don't love the market in the place that it is right now. And with more content potentially coming today that could move some coins, uh, take them from kind of like a uh, take coins off the market kind of perspective, you know, with an icon player pick, that could even make the market drop more in some areas and, and cause some coins to be taken off of the market. So that is one thing that I want to talk about here in just a second. But I really believe the market's not in a good spot right now. Also, with those packs, I haven't even looked at the price of high rated fodder. But since those packs are giving out so much high rated fodder, how much are 89s? 20k for 89s. 91s are down a little bit, not a lot, but down some. Man, look at 87s and 88s of those. GG if you picked up 86s, 87s, or 88s yesterday because these cards are 9K. Basically 9,000 coins for 88s. Yesterday they were 7K. GG's if you picked any of those up. Even with the store packs being tradable and giving out some of those higher rated fodder cards, they are still going up on the market. So GG's if you pick those up because today could be a day where you actually have an opportunity to sell some of those. 168 for Saka right here. 168, can I get that? Boom, we are involved. Okay, we're risking it with a Saka and a Declan Rice. Hopefully Saka goes back to like 1.9, 1.8. 
and uh, hopefully that Declan can go above 1.5, right? Again, using kind of yesterday's prices in the swings for an example, hopefully we have some good movements there. That's just me making some quick flips. But let's talk about content today, and I'm gonna get out of those uh, flips pretty quick because I don't wanna be holding on to those cards with what could be coming. Sunday content, third day of team of the season. We have an Evo leak that is still around. We're probably going to get a player SBC, but what we're looking forward to the most is this Encore hero pick getting out of here and an Encore icon pick replacing it, right? It's been a week of not good stuff with this hero pick, and we wait for the icon to replace it. Really, what I'm curious about is, are they going to up the rating? Are they going to make it 89 plus? What are they going to do? It's been 88 plus now for a couple of weeks. Are they going to take out some of maybe the winter wild cards? Those are a little bit older now in terms of the icons. What are they going to do for a player pick today to make it juicy, to make it exciting, to make it hype? Because I feel like at this stage of the game with the three playstyle plus cards that they have dropped, they're going to have to do something juicy uh, for lack of a better term. They're going to have to make the icon player pick different and make it something that a lot of us want to be chasing in order for it to be hyped today. So that's one thing that we're really watching out for. And again, GG's if you invested in some of that fodder because what's going to go up today if they're releasing an icon player pick? Potentially some of this middle tier fodder. Now the thing is, again, fodder is so cheap that it's. I would not be surprised if there was maybe even a 90 or an 89 rated squad inside this icon player pick today usually the icon player picks have been like what 86 87 88 rated squads i wouldn't be surprised if there's an 88 squad and maybe even an 89 squad as well just because of how cheap fodder is and if ea is going to make an icon pick they can't make it super duper cheap right especially if they're going to make it a little bit better so that's one thing that i would definitely be watching out for and right now in this game with the fodder that everybody has because like let's face it almost all of us have fodder in our clubs that's why fodder is so cheap right we're looking for sbcs to do and this is an sbc that so many people would want to do i'm going to open an exchange pack right now why not i haven't done many player picks i haven't packed any blues today i've barely been on the game spanish center mid uh parejo you know what i'll take that from an exchange pack times 27 exchange pack i will take a walkout absolutely um today is going to be a day where people are going to be sending some of that fodder they have in their club into an icon player pick sort of SBC. I'm still being a little bit careful. I am going to open the 750k pack in the store. But right now, I can't justify it without an SBC that I really want to craft apart from Odegaard. I'm also kind of waiting to see what kind of SBC EA would maybe 2.325 for Doku. That's low. Um, you know what? I'm going to list this for I'm going to take the tax loss here, man. I'm going to go 2317, which is tax loss and 3,000 coins, which is 100K loss, a little over 100K, because that is a 2 million coin card. But we made that up easy yesterday. Um, that was kind of a side note, because we did make good coins again yesterday. We probably made, you know, we made 200K here, we made 100K there, we made 100K there, 150K. So another really solid day of trading yesterday, and hopefully into today. Um, but uh, yeah, I think coins are gonna be drained from this game today. And I'm just going to be very, very careful with the market. I kind of forget what I was going on there about, um, oh, fodder opening packs. We got to get a player SBC today too. There's no leaks for a player SBC, but again, Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, they're all player SBC days. The last thing I want to point out is a leak. And since we technically didn't have this evolution dropped yesterday, I think this leak is still valid because we had a TOTS attacker evolution that was put out. I guess, are we actually going to have a TOTS midfielder upgrade? Um, I think this, I think this leak still applies guys. I really do. I know that we had an Evo yesterday that was not kind of this type of thing. Tots plus protector. We had the Premier League tots. We had nuclear defender and defensive mid connections like last week. I think this Evo still, um, is possibly coming. I don't know if it would be today. I don't know when it would be, but, uh, tots midfielder upgrade again, they're still going all out with the content and they're definitely going to keep going out with going all out with the packs that are in the store. So that is one thing that I would mention too, is I think those packs in the store, the 750 K's were kind of on a timer, but I, I wouldn't even be surprised if they dropped like something new or something else that in a Sunday, because guys, they really want people going all out for the cards and for what is in packs right now with Premier League team this season and, and everything else. And uh, really what I'm waiting for to like full send all of my coins and like go even further in diving into the pack grind and the menu grind is 
I'm waiting to see what league specific upgrade packs come out on Monday. And the last shot I'll give you to end the video off today is to be careful putting gold rares into too many SBCs. Gold rares, I don't think they're gonna rise much, so it's not really an investment, but make sure you have a club full of gold rares because what we hopefully get tomorrow on Monday would be the SBCs that require 11 gold rares, but they give back players from the Premier League and the Women's Super League, those same upgrade packs that we had during Team of the Year. I think those SBCs could be coming out and that will be the SBC that we would want to grind to have the best chance of packing team of the year cards. So I can I keep checking Bukai Osaka. That's like what's on my mind right now. If I catch another undercut at 1.68, I might buy a second one. Uh, I might buy a Cole Palmer just because, man, I believe that these cards, people are going to wake up today and see their prices and be like, oh my gosh, I can afford Cole Palmer. He's literally three, 400K less than what it was yesterday. I'm interested in that sort of thing uh, because they've got so uh, much cheaper. Like same thing with Di Maria. Same thing even with like Hemp. Hemp is 955 crazy crazy price drop so i'm gonna keep a close eye on these cards i'm gonna trade a little bit into today on sunday but i'm gonna be selling these cards before the content drop to not risk it at all because i don't want to get burned on more price drops on these especially if we have good content declan rice i mean he might be like 1.6 mil later on today we also have squad battle rewards today which unless you're getting like elite levels of squad battles the rewards aren't that great but hey it's more packs it's more coins put onto the game and it's more xp as well people getting that higher xp levels hey all the thing i have to ask is when are they going to be upgrading these live cards let me double check and make sure that like havertz isn't all of a sudden magically updated and i completely missed it is havertz still a uh 92 rated card when are we getting these live upgrades man plenty of these cards have eclipsed yeah 92 havertz come on man um, literally Havertz today's North London Derby day. So let's say they score one against Spurs and then Spurs score two to get the win, right? That's what we need uh, as a Spurs fan. When are these upgrades coming? I'm ready for the live tots upgrades EA Sports. There's plenty of cards that are due them. I'm just wondering when are they actually going to happen? All right, guys, that's the video for today. Have a great Sunday. Sorry, this video is a little bit late. It's been a crazy busy weekend for me. I don't know if I'll be able to stream today. It's super late and uh, I'm destroyed, but we might be back. We will be back at it on Monday, 100%, and I will be crafting through the menus, trying to pack Premier League team of the seasons, and I won't open that 750K pack until I'm on stream, so you won't miss it. We'll share that time together, but if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on a comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Native for the channel. I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. Peace out.